Hello traders, it's Pierre here, your trading coach. Today I will show you three trading mistakes that you need to avoid if you really want to grow your trading account. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe and hit that bell to get the notification as soon as I upload a new video. See you there. Welcome back guys. Those three trading mistake that will help you grow your account will help you to be a better trader. And uh, this is something that you really to work on and no one else will be able to help you with that. It is only you that can take care of these three mistakes. So let's start looking at them. I hope you like this video. The mistake number one is trading without a plan. I see many, many traders, especially at the beginning of their trading career, coming to the market without any plan at all, flipping charts, seeing a, a pattern, and entering the market based on that pattern. This is really, really stupid thing to do. You need to have a trading plan. You need to have an idea on what you want to see, when you want to see it, and what you're going to do when that happens. So if 99% of Forex traders have no plan, is it strange that they lose all the time? Of course not. Of course not. You cannot just come to the market uh, being lazy, not trading, uh, planning your trades, sorry, and expecting to um, get money out of the market, expecting to be a um, good trader that will consistently make money out of the market. You maybe get lucky sometime or something like that, but you will never be able to keep doing that day in and day out, week in and week, uh, week out without having a plan. No plans, that means there is no discipline, that means emotional trading, and that is really uh, a big issue that will kill your trading account much, much faster than you think. So plan it, be disciplined to not have emotional trading. It's a very, very important issue. Trading with no plan means you're trading at 100% risk of your account. You have no idea of what the risk you are taking. You are not managing your risk. You are not managing your money. That's mean you are risking 100% even though if you tell me that I open this lot size or that lot size, it doesn't really matter. You are risking 100% of your account. You have no plan that means you do not have any idea where your stop loss gonna be where you take profit gonna be is the market you trading uh, doing what you really wanted to do and all that means you are risking all of your money the whole account is on risk here so how to fix that problem guys the first thing plan your trades during the weekend every single week and it need to have be planned this is my ritual every week so every weekend i start doing my plans for the upcoming weeks by doing top down analysis looking at chart from weekly and down to plan what need to be done for the next week and planning trades while the market is closed let you be focused a hundred percent on your charts only because I mean if you start pl tr planning your trade like Monday or Tuesday when the market is already moving and the news and the headlines start coming you will not be focused you will be looking at those uh, candles moving all around seeing some opportunities going away from you start having FOMO or start getting scared seeing some momentum in some candles moving in the direction that you didn't want it to do so 
when you plan uh, your trades during the market is open it is for me a really really bad idea that's why i always 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 use the weekend saturday or sunday most of the time i do that on sundays and while i give you the weekly market overview every sunday that helped me to do that ritual every single sunday plan the, uh, my trades ahead of the upcoming week while the market is closed and there is no headlines there is no uh, no noise out there to take out my focus from the charts you need to have a watch list what to short what to go long and what to not trade i think the what to not trade list that one need to be maybe your biggest list because you cannot enter on every single moving market the market will keep moving all the time so ahead of the week you need to have a watch list of a couple of pairs three to four depends on uh, your ability to plan and how many pairs you can watch i would say two to four pairs is enough and those gonna be your short or your long list and of course what to not trade this week if you see that a market is stuck in a choppy range and you do not like to trade range you are only let's say you are only a trend follower trader then you will be having on your watch list those markets that showing you good trends and the healthy trends those are your uh, watch list uh, pairs or markets you need also to check your plan every single morning. You need to remind yourself of your plan because you may forget during the week what was your plan. Uh, the charts start uh, moving, the prices start moving and your planning may got forgotten. So check your plan every single morning that will help you to keep, uh, to keep you on uh, track even check your plan after every uh, trading day at the end of the day and of course the most important thing is to check your trading plan at the end of the trading week to see if you did follow the plan or not B because if you see that you didn't follow your plan you need to take care of those issues you need to get back on track start following your plan otherwise there is no idea making that plan at the first place so do it as a ritual to always always check your plans after the trading day and after the trading week yeah so mistake number two guys that is moving a stop loss to avoid a loss i think all of us been there you some of you may be still in that situation and that is a huge mistake that you really need to take care of if you do not want to lose all your money the same thing as if you do not have a stop loss at all so you need to really really be disciplined to have your stop loss at the level you put it before you enter the trade and never move it okay no discipline that means that you have big big problems to be fixed first so you need to be disciplined if you move your stop loss that shows you that you do not have discipline and if you do not have disciplines then you have big issues in your trading that you need to fix first so guys how to fix that problem the first thing and the most important thing only move stop loss to lock in profit not to avoid a loss never move away your stop loss to avoid a loss but only move your stop loss to lock in profit when the market did break a new high or something like that did break a major structure then you can move your stop loss to lock in profit and to start protecting that profit profit to start protecting your entry you need to accept the fact that you were wrong if the market does 
what you didn't expect it to do you need to accept the fact that you were wrong there is nothing wrong to accept the fact that we can be wrong in the market there is no trader that always gonna be right in the market no one really cares about if you're being right or wrong out there what you really care about is your equity is your uh, account and if that keep growing there is no one that will ask you what when was the last time you were wrong or uh, something like that so keep focusing on what the market is showing you right now every one of us gonna be wrong in the market every single week we're gonna take some trades that show us that we we were wrong and we need to accept that fact take the loss get out of the trade move forward plan the next one another thing to do is to plan your stop loss and take profit before entering any trade okay that is a very very important thing because when you plan a stop loss and take profit before you enter a trade you you are less emotional you know why you're putting a stop loss on a level um, you see that uh, for example let's say you have uh, some double top here happening at a previous major structure high like uh, we have here yeah let's say this major structure high here was the reason you put your stop loss above this area yeah so this could be your stop loss and this was the reason before you entered the trade that you want to have your stop loss hided above a structure high now when you plan this ahead of your trade you need to explain to yourself why i am having my stop loss here at this level yes of course because this was the last major swing high i have a double top here i want to short and i want to hide my stop loss above this structure because if the market breaks above this major stru structure high that will show me that i am wrong and possibly this market will start going up so if this scenario happened this way that mean our planning or expectation was wrong the market didn't do what we wanted to do and we need to get out of that trade let it hit your stop loss or close your trade at the breakout and start looking for a possible reversal in this uh, scenario because the market is showing you that it wants to go to the upside okay so you need to plan that ahead of your trade to really be focused before things start moving and you start getting scared and moving your stop loss away from the market which is not a good idea write down why you have the stop loss at that specific level as as explained earlier you had a major structure high you had a double top scenario so write that down explain to yourself why your stop loss is above this structure to be able to look back at that when you start seeing the market doing this doing this getting scared to know that okay i put my stop loss above this structure because of this major high and that mean if the major high is broken i should be out of the market that will help you remember what happened many times i see traders entering the market and after like uh, one hour or so they have no idea why they enter a at a level why they have the stop loss or the take profit at that level yeah very very important so mistake number three and the last one and that is defensive trading guys this is also a very very uh, important issue that you need to take care of by defensive trader being a defensive trader you become that after getting some losses you get fearful you start getting very fearful of the market you um, equity looking uh, as it is going down you're you're seeing you're looking too much at your uh, PNL and see that uh, you're losing some money and you start getting 
fearful because having this drawdown period and every one of us gonna have some drawdown periods none of us gonna always be doing a good uh, and profitable trade every single time also you start to focus not to lose instead of fo thinking of how to win when you start being fearful and getting defensive you start all the time focus not to lose money instead of thinking how to win how to make a winning trades you start chasing the price and cut profit shorts because you are fearful of those losses or you move your stop loss too early to break even this maybe is the one thing that will happen many many times is um, that we we start moving our stop loss too early to break even okay and this is a bad habit you need to fix that never move a stop loss if let's say you are trading a market that trending to the upside entering on this retest of the structure you have your stop loss below previous structure low as soon as you see the market start moving away from your entry you move your stop loss to break even because you are fearful of losing money and then just to see the market going back hitting your stop loss at break even before taking the real move you'd never move your stop loss to break even if you didn't take at least one to one take profit at some area or after seeing the market breaking previous structure high or previous structure low when this happened when you get a, a break above previous structure then you're good to go to move your stop loss because we have a breakout and possibility for this market to continue to the upside and of course the opposite would be doing it on the way down in a bearish market yeah so how to fix that we talked already about when to move the stop loss uh, to break even and before that if you see that you're having these issues of defensive trading you need to stop trading immediately do not take any trades okay protect your account you need to review the plan hopefully after having a plan so if there is no plan there is nothing to review which is even worse so review that plan see why you wanted to enter a trade at a, that level why you had the stop loss at a, this level why i have my take profit at that area and stuff like that you need to review this plan to be able to understand what's going on if you are doing something else wrong or not you could also lower your position size when you feel that you are uh, trading defensive by lowering your position size that will make you hopefully a bit less fearful of the market the loss will not be as big this time so it is a good idea to lower your uh, size position uh, position size sorry and you could also lower your take profit but not less than one to one so if you usually take one let's say you usually take one to two or one to three go with a one-to-one -one just to start having some winners yeah when you start having some winners you got back that good feeling that i am winning right now you start getting back in moment having that momentum getting back in your trading zone so there is nothing wrong um, to lowering uh, the take profit but of course never less than one-to-one -one. To just get back that feeling of yes i am winning trade right now uh, and start getting back your momentum and when you start feeling that the drawdown is pe the, pe the drawdown period is over then you can go back to normal position size and to your normal um, risk to reward ratio as well so 
those was uh, the three mistakes guys i hope uh, the video was helpful for you if you do not have these issues right now it is good to know that they are very very common with many traders so it is good to learn from others mistake i can assure you that i've done all these and even more i will uh, surely get back to you for uh, more examples and more mistakes uh, in later videos to talk about uh, even more uh, mistakes and trading uh, psychology so thank you very much guys for watching this video please if you do like it do not forget to hit the like button or why not write me a comment why what you think about it and if you're really done all you need to do about trading you can the basic you're still missing uh, some puzzles to get a profitable trader trader you are welcome to visit my site and join our trading community our trading and chat room there i will always send trading updates trading ideas uh, reviewing your uh, trades if you want me to do so and if you really really want to be a profitable trader with good strategies entry reasons how to plan trades how to make a top-down analysis how to trade using pivot point and all that you are welcome to join my trading course my next trading course will start the first week of november and soon uh, the registration will be open so keep an eye on uh, my site to get more information about that thanks a lot and see you in the next video guys bye bye